one last glimpse of our beloved alma mater. The College of the Holy Spirit's Manjola Campus will close in April 2022. For those who wanted to see the campus one last time, the SSPS nuns and the Alumni Foundation organized a school tour. The 79ers, our batch, paid their last visit last March 11, 2022. The tour began with a visit to the chapel where we had our first communion and first Friday Masses. Walking to the crucifix from the hallway made us realize how we were raised in prayer and called to a mission. Then we took a walk down memory lane to the grounds where we used to have our flag ceremony, morning exercises, field demonstration, intramurals. Our batch was a back-to-back champion in cheering. Oh, how can we forget our school fair? We were giggling like schoolgirls again when we reenacted our C-80 days by a company call with our core commander Nelly and platoon leader Kalin. Returning to our high school building brought back memories of classroom scenes as well as recall of our former advisors and teachers. Passing through the stairways and seeing our national artist Fernando Amorzolos' one and only stained glass window brought back bittersweet memories. The wide open spaces made us recall of our childhood games of patintero and jackstones. Mushroom tables sprouted all around us, reminding us how we used to eat our snacks, buying the canteen with cheats, and respectfully calling our helpers manangs. This is where we caught the dragonfly! <laughs> two to be, two, two to be. In other words, two to be. <laughs> As we reminisce, Ika planting and catching dragonflies, the grotto and the wide expanse of grass made us laugh at ourselves once more. As we made our way to the auditorium, we reflected on our school programs and our batch success in Exerpasho. Cherishing all these memories with this group of beautiful ladies who were generous with their love and support over the years of friendship that knew no time or distance was a true reminder of the happy place we called our second home. Where young girls were shaped by strict yet loving nuns and teachers whose goal was to mold us to live our lives in truth and love. Most importantly, values deeply ingrained and instilled not only in our minds, but also in our hearts. How does one say goodbye to happy times? How does one say goodbye to memories? No, I guess instead of saying goodbye, I will say Thank you, CHS. We are blessed by your Holy Spirit, and we vow to keep living and celebrating life the best way we know how, as a result of how you raised us to serve with gratitude and commitment to life. Tears, yes, but happy ones, because... The Spirit 
lives on. Oh,